Alright then, I will tell you who your soulmate is. Firstly, if your name begins with A, B, C, D, E, W, or J, you get one point. And that means that your person who is your soulmate, surname will begin with J or Z. If your name starts with V, then that means that your soulmate's name begins with a W. If your surname begins with G, then you will never have a partner, ever. And that also includes people with the surnames T or anything else like that, okay? Never, okay? Secondly, if you like any of these things, you will never have a soulmate either. If you like A, rocks, B, football, or C, candy floss, you will never have a partner. However, if you have a great-grandparent who is not female, then I can guarantee you none of the things I've said up until now are actually true. However, if you are from the continent of Northwestern Ouch Europe, then you get free shipping with no taxes unless you are from the kingdoms of Great Britain, Northern Ireland, Ireland, or any other country in Northwestern Europe. So that also includes you, Icelandic people. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Next up, if you don't film all your YouTube videos out in the forest, then your soulmate will most likely have the surname Jones. And if you do film your videos in the forest, then your soulmate will most likely have the surname Smith. If you were born in January, then the first name of your soulmate will be Jimbawe. Whether you are a man or a woman, gay or straight, that's just how it's going to be. If your birthday is in February, dependent on the gender of your soulmate, they will either be called John or anti disestablishmentarianism and if you were born in March, then the first name of your partner will either be Jamboree or Samanda. If you are born in any of the other months, your f the first name of your partner will be Simeon. Unless you are born in December, in which case it will probably be either William or Jemima. Which is a legitimate name, I swear. Next up is your soulmate's personality traits. If you are under the age of 20, then your partner is guaranteed to have the personality trait of pedophile. No, that isn't a pedophile, that is a pedophile, someone who likes to feel people's feet. If you are between the ages of 20 and 42, then your partner will be a prostitute, but not a prostitute, a prostitute. Because a prostitute is someone who has an intense wishing for cuddling trees and ripping up grass to make hippie soups. Yeah, trust me, this video is very scripted and I'm not making it up as I go along. Lastly, if you are over the age that I just mentioned, your partner is guaranteed to have the personality trait rambunctious little scamp. And I'm pretty sure you know what that means. And lastly, but not leastly, the last bit of information. If you live in the region of Gloucestershire, in the kingdom of Engerland, then you will most likely not have a soulmate from that region. Your soulmate will either be from Herefordshire or they will be a strange young man known as the Simeon of the Tricky. Although I've also heard that some people end up with the William of the Todd, although those are very rare occasions. Yes. If you go up to someone which fits this description perfectly, give them one of these, make sure it's dead. They are guaranteed 
to not not really have a changed opinion of you. They're not going to go, oh wow, that's great, or no nah, shit. But they probably should because it's a bit true. But, however, if you take a leaf out of the penguin's book and get them a nice round pebble, like this highly round pebble I just picked up on the ground, then they're guaranteed I, to, to love them. Sure. And that was the video. Goodbye.